going to get a little festive today. I'm going to show you three styling ideas for your next holiday photo shoot. Our first concept here is this idea of a monochromatic holiday image. So we have this miniature hot cocoa mix. This is a peppermint flavor and the main colors of our packaging are pink and red. So I have selected a pink backdrop and base to complement that. And then we have some various props here in the same colors or different shades of pink. We have this miniature hat. I've got a tree here sitting on a pink base. We may incorporate this pink mug with spoon. I also have some of these adorable miniature gifts that I think we could arrange under the tree here. A strand of ornaments. Maybe we could pull in the pink ones, maybe coming from the sides or the back of the image. And then I also have some peppermints to complement the flavor. So what I'm going to do next is just set you guys up so you can watch the entire styling process. And then I'll do a quick overview of everything as it came together. All right, so here's our final styled scene. I went ahead and used the rule of odds for some of the props. For instance, I have three gifts, and then you can see here I have one, two, three peppermints. Using odd numbers in some cases just tends to make the image look a little bit more balanced. So I think that worked really well here. I placed the hat on top of the product. I think the hat ended up being a really good size for this miniature product here. And then I scattered some marshmallows around the base of the mug. And as you can see, I also have just one little ornament coming in from the back edge. And you may also notice that I didn't end up using those miniature freeze dried marshmallows. I found that these ones were, were a little bit bigger, but I think they just looked better for the size of the mug that we're using here. And here is our image with the final edits. For this next scene, we're going to be doing a festive flat lay image. And what I really love about this style is it allows you to get really creative with the colors and props that you're using within your scene. For this particular setup, I've pulled out a few festive items. We've got some different colored ornaments here that we could place along the edges of the frame. I have some jingly bells here that we could incorporate a bow, some ribbon. This is like some crushed gold and silver. I don't even know what you would call this, but it looks really pretty. It kind of adds a glittery accent in the scene. And then over here, I have contained some faux snow because that stuff makes a huge mess, but it's worth it because it looks really beautiful in the photos. And then finally, this is the product that we will be featuring today. I wanted to kind of do a complementary color scheme going on here. So we have our reds and our blues, and then our product, of course, is going to be blue as well. And then one final note before we get into styling the scene, I'm going to be using some sticky tack here because this is a flat lay and this is a product that will roll and get really frustrating to deal with. I'm going to be placing some tack just along the edges of the jar here so that it stays in place for our flat lay. But let's go ahead and get into the styling.
is what ended up being the final setup for this flat light image. I'm loving how this turned out and especially the nice contrast between the bold reds and the bold blues. You may have noticed as I was sprinkling the snow, I started off with a very light hand. I recommend you go this route if you are using something like this just because the layers add up quite quickly, so you wanna make sure that you monitor how things are looking as you go. So I sprinkled a light layer, and then I started to build on that as I went. And then you can also see here, the snow is kind of feathering in towards the product. I didn't want any harsh lines created by the snow. I wanted it to look like it fell more naturally. But overall, I'm loving the life that the snow gives to the scene. These gold and silver flecks gave some nice texture, and I think this one turned out really great. And here is the final edited image for this scene. Your clients and brands are going to absolutely love this type of concept because this time of year, they're trying to put a bug in the air of their potential customers that their product is a great gift to buy for their friends and family. So the idea for this type of scene is to portray that this brand's product would make a great gift. We're going to keep this in mind as we're styling and setting the scene so that people can see this as a potential gift idea for their friends and family. So this is going to be the products that we're going to be featuring here, just some cashew butter. I like the color of this to go with our pink background here. And then I just really have some gift wrapping supplies. We've got a couple different ribbons to choose from. I have a box here and I'm going to try to fill it with these gold spherical things. I'm gonna use that as filler and then put the product on top. We've got a couple different colors of wrapping paper, some tissue paper if we need it, scissors. I usually like to position these with some ribbon just to kind of drive home the fact that we're in the process of wrapping the gift. And then we've also got some gift tags. And there is a wrap on our final scene. So you may have noticed I ended up filling our gift box here with just some rolled up plastic bags. This is just a little trick that you can use if you're doing something like this and say you don't have enough product or filler, just fill the bottom with something that's easy to clean up. And then I just went ahead and topped it off with the gold spheres. We've got our wrapping paper here. The top of the image ended up needing a little something. So that was when I went ahead and added this roll of little twine in there, and then I just accented it with a few of our red ornaments, a couple of bows, and this is our final image. As product photographers, it is so important that we have some of these concepts in our tool belt ready to go so that we can provide seasonal content to our clients. And what I especially love about the concepts that we went over today is that you can customize these for any product or any props that you have on hand and really make them your own. So hopefully this got some gears turning for some new ideas for your own clients. And thank you again for hanging out with me. Before you head out, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.